Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to go. You're really tripping. I'm sorry. Come on, focus on me. No? Really? Okay, so today we're going to be going to Target. And I don't know where else I'm getting my stuff ready for my diaper bag and the baby bag, the hospital bags. So that is what we are doing. And I'm going to take y'all along with me. Okay, so yesterday I had a doctor's appointment and I was questioning my doctor about my blood pressure and he said that we can just go ahead and go to the hospital and do a 15, every 15 minutes take your blood pressure and then do a whole lab work of your, my blood, drawing blood and then do the 24 hour urine um, thing. So that's what I am doing today. I have to go drop that off at the doctor's office, but I thought while I'm out we can go, um, shop for the hospital bags so we are just now arriving at target i will insert some clips i only got a few because my phone died but i'll insert some clips of yesterday of me having to go to the doctors and then i will show y'all when we get inside of target Target logo. So I was going to just show you what we got so far. So I ended up getting a thing of toothbrushes for me and my husband. Chocolate. Chocolate? Uh -huh. I got this really cute mask. I'm buying all different types of masks because I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to breathe in any of them. I got some Tylenol for my husband and then a giant pack of gum for us. Um. I got this, it's like a waterproof bag. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but I got that, people are everywhere. Then I got this reusable tubes for the shampoo and conditioner, because I use this certain kind. Then I got two big bags of these. I also got a scrub brush, it's $3. I just needed a brush from the sink, I mean my dishes. These baskets, they were three dollars each and they shrink and get bigger. But yeah, I got that I think for her bows and stuff, but that's all I got now off to the hospital. Mm -hmm.
Hey guys, excuse the background. I'm by my refrigerator. There's a window right here, and that's the best lighting I could get in my house right now. Um, but I forgot to update y'all. It's a few days later. I forgot to update y'all about me taking the. Um, and my kids are here. Come here. Look. Look. Hey. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Say hi. Can you wait? Say hi. Daddy. Say hi. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> mm, yeah. Okay. Well, so we went ahead and we went there. I went back to the exact same place in the hospital where to drop it off. And they told me I had to go to the labs. And I wasn't sure where the labs was. Well, anyway, so the, um, the place where I went, it's for, um, expecting mothers so I went there that's where they told me to come back and I had my son Aiden with me and they told me that I'm gonna have to go to the labs and the labs apparently is in the middle of the hospital and um she said that I'm going to have to go in uh, the emergency room area and then talk to them about it so they can take it to the lab or take me to the lab area so um it is already dark outside. Aiden and I went to the emergency room and we are standing in the emergency room and they said that there's no guests allowed, like there's no kids allowed or anything unless they're the sick ones. So we both have our masks on obviously because we're in an emergency room and there's a guy in front of us, like six feet in front of us and he keeps running out the door to throw up. And I'm over here grabbing, <laughs> I'm carrying my four year old son. He's big and I'm already, I'm huge. I'm almost, I don't remember when I, but anyway, so I'm carrying him while pregnant, just standing in line, waiting to talk to the front desk in the emergency room. So we went in there, we waited about 10 minutes. She was still working on the exact same person that was there. So, um, I decided to leave, go back to my car and look it up on my phone to see if there's any other way to get to the labs. So I Googled it and it didn't show anything about labs or where to turn anything in. So, um, I moved my car cause I was on the other side of the hospital and since it's dark, there was a lot of cops by the emergency room. So we just moved the car around and it up didn't see anything about it so we went back into the emergency room and it was that guy in front of us no it was there was a lady in front of him and then that guy that kept throwing up and then me and my son that were waiting and I so we I ended up asking the security guard he had like a little desk area on the side and I asked him if he knew where the labs were and he said no ma'am you're gonna have to wait in line so I waited another 15 minutes 15 to 20 minutes and she was like ma'am did you already check in and I said no I'm just here to drop this off for the labs I don't know where to go the lady at the other building told me to come here and um I don't know what to do and she goes oh um okay well let me check so she turns around there's another lady another lady at the desk behind her and she was like oh yeah i'll take you to labs yeah just come through the double doors so the emergency room and double doors um you know like to go into the back where they will you um she <laughs> she told me to go back there and i was like well i have my son with me um and you know i can't leave him he's only four i can't leave him in the car and she's like no that's fine he can just come back so we walk back through the double doors she takes me to like a creepy looking hallway and we go through this hallway and we're like turning left and right and left go through another door left right left and then we get to where the it says labs and i walk in she's like and then she said well whenever you're done you could just come back the same way you came and i'm thinking i can't even remember what direction i came from i wasn't paying attention so we went to the labs i went and she goes Kara and I said yes ma'am and she goes okay thank you and she took it I didn't have to sign anything I didn't have to verify anything so the lady that took me all the way over here could have just grabbed it and just went back and did it instead of me having to hand it in and wait an hour in the emergency room you know like it just didn't make any sense to me so we were walking back 
and there's a security guard walking and he goes, do you know where you're going? And I said, nope. And he goes, okay, follow me. So I was like, thank you. So we followed him all the way back and we got in my car. We wasted, that took, instead of like five minutes, it took over an hour because I had to go into the other clinic and then wait for them to call people and figure out where I'm supposed to take it and why I was showing up there. And I told them, well, my nurse told me to come here. So it was just a big thing that didn't even need to happen. But yeah, uh, so that's what happened. Um, I think that's it for this video because I can't remember if I recorded more or not. But thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.